Okay everyone, we're back in paper one from the OCRA specification in A-level chemistry and we're looking at this buffers in blood exam question. It's another level of response, so we need to be careful with our layout and we need to look for any instructions hidden in the question. Healthy human blood needs to be maintained at a pH of 7.40, which is one of the range uh, quantities that you need to be aware of for the A-level. So you need to be aware that from the specification that healthy blood has a pH range of 7.35 to 7.45. Now, the fact that they've actually given you a hard figure here and not the range does imply that perhaps they're going to be looking at some calculation involving this pH, which they absolutely are once we get a little bit further down. The carbonic acid, H2CO3, is a weak acid, which together with the hydrogen carbonate ion, HCO3 negative, acts as a buffer to maintain the pH of blood. And we've got a pKa value here as well for the dissociation of the carbonic acid at 6.38. Explain, here we go, here are our instructions. As per usual with the OCR uh, level of response questions, these aren't split up into different bullet points. We've got to now go through this and make sure that when we're in the exam, tick through all the stuff that we actually correctly observe and include in our answer to make sure we don't miss anything out. Explain in terms of equilibrium. Now, whenever we see that, we want to talk about shift, how the carbonic acid hydrogen carbonate mixture acts as a buffer in the control of blood pH and calculate the ratio. Now, this would be the A minus compared to the HA, if we think about our notes, ratio in healthy blood. So I'm going to go through the full answer now and how I would respond to this in the exam. Okay, so here's my answer, and just to reiterate, this is from Paper 1 2019 on the OCRA specification. The very first thing I'm going to do is include the equilibrium at the top just here. Now, the reason I'm going to include that is because with my answer, in order to answer this in terms of equilibrium, I'm going to be talking about different shifts. Now, in order to make sure that I can articulate this clearly to the examiner, I'm going to be using shifting left and shifting right as it's the plainest way to represent all of this. I don't like using reactants and products. I prefer to use left and right, but you can do so if you wish to. Now, here, either way, I need to demonstrate to the examiner what I think is on the left, what I think the reactants are, and what I think the products are. Because actually, although we have been given some formulae by the exam question, we've not actually been given this equilibrium. So right at the start of any buffer response exam question, I'm going to make sure that I've got an example of the equilibrium demonstrated. Now what I've got here are my descriptions then of what happens when acid and alkali are added. There is a little caveat at the end of my answer just here that says you only needed to technically respond about the addition of H plus or OH minus, but I don't think that instruction is actually very clear from the exam question. So it actually does say just in the control of blood pH. So that's the addition of acid, alkali or small amounts of water. I'm going to include both in my answer. It doesn't take a great deal of time and it covers all my bases with this because the instructions are a bit vague and these level of response mark schemes can end up being very, very detailed. So first off, I'm going to talk about what happens when we add acid, which is H+. So adding H plus is going to react with the conjugate base of our weak acid, which is just over here on the right hand side and the equilibrium is going to shift to the left hand side and what that's going to do is remove the additional H plus and therefore keep the pH as constant as possible. Now also if I introduce OH minus this H plus ion concentration is going to start to go down because it's going to start to react with the OH minus and so the position of equilibrium shifts to the right hand side to restore this amount of H plus. And so I've got that description in the second part of my response so far just here. And because I've not actually got OH- anywhere near the buffer equilibrium, I've included this additional reaction equation here just for extra clarity. Next up, I've got calculating my ratio. I find typically this question is rare, but very challenging for students because we don't often get asked to calculate a ratio in A-level chemistry. And people struggle with the idea of how the answer can be a quantity that's calculated placed over one. But I'll do my best to explain this for you. So in order to calculate the ratio between the A- and the HA, so we've got the hydrogen carbonate ion just here and the carbonic acid just below, Remember, we were given those by the exam question just at the very start in part A, just here. As you can see, we've got the acid and the hydrogen carbonate. Now, the Ka and the H plus ion concentration are the quantities that we are able to determine from the exam question. And I do think it's a bit repetitive of the skill here. But to get both of these, we need to use 10 to the power of the negative pH and Ka. So that should be pKa just there, respectively. And what that does is it gives us our values of the H plus ion concentration and the Ka, which we can see here are in the Ka expression. 
typically for buffer calculations, a lot of what you're going to be using, of course, does rely on the Ka expression. So typically what I tend to do is write out the Ka expression like I've got just here and then look through the question at what data I have and what data I need to get in order to satisfy the demand of the question. So that's how I would recommend typically you start out these. And you can see here I can find these two and my answer revolves around those. So now that I've got them, I do a little bit of a rearrangement and I drag this H plus ion concentration over to the left so we can see it now as the denominator under the numerator now of my Ka. And I've got my hydrogen carbonate ion and my carbonic acid just there. So I'm looking now at this rearrangement being spread across here and there. Just ignore this stuff in the middle just for a moment just there. So what I need to do now is input values for the Ka and the H plus ion concentration that I've got over here into my calculator, just like that, and they're going to give me a single numerical value. Now, because of the rearrangement, that single numerical value represents the hydrogen carbonate ion divided by the carbonic acid ion, and those are both concentrations, of course. Now, because I've got a single quantity from doing this calculation in my calculator, which is the Ka divided by the H plus ion concentration, in order to satisfy the demand of the question and show this as a ratio, what I can do, because I'm not looking for exact numbers here, I'm just looking for the ratio of one compared to the other, I can place that single numerical value over one. And that satisfies the demand of the question of asking us to represent this as a ratio. So you can see here, I've got 10.47 to one. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope it has made a difference, but before you go, I do need some help. Please leave this video a like before you go because it really does help support my channel and let YouTube know I still exist. There's loads of good stuff around the screen now and links to my other video content in the description down below, so make sure you check that out before you head off. Until next time though, everybody, happy revising.